Hey you guys, it's Marianne, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the proposal presentation. So it is due May 10th. You will upload it to week 17 discussion board. Uh, you can narrate a PowerPoint or a Prezi or whatever you want to narrate. I'm not quite sure what other options there are, but you guys know more about tech stuff than me. So maybe you have an idea. Um, I would suggest definitely at least 10 slides. Uh, one slide would be the cover page and the other slide must be, you must have a slide for your works cited page. And there is this thing called the five of five rule, which means when you're doing an actual presentation, uh, you would have no more than five bullets. And I'll explain, I'll show you an example in a minute. And then no more than five words per bullet. So let me just pull up this most recent um, presentation I gave for you guys. Let's critique this a little bit. This was back uh, April 19th. So here's my cover page, you would say. Uh, I have my name on there and whatever presentate, like this is uh, April 19th uh, lecture or whatever it was. So um, I have a decent picture there. Uh, and then here's, well, let's see, there's eight bullets here. One, two, yeah, eight bullets. So narrow that down to five. And then each of my bullets only have at the most five words and that's what I mean like no more than five bullets here and no more than five words here and the reason why you don't want to have that is because the the PowerPoint or the Prezi is not for you to sit there and read it's for you to remember and for people to focus on you probably should there are PowerPoints out there that are just pictures it's on one slide is one picture so the only purpose of the PowerPoint are like notes for you to look at and then allow the other people to or the audience to actually look at something to so that they actually have something to look at and that's helping them keep engaged and focused on what you're talking about. Plus, people are visual and um, uh, audio or verbal learners. So you want to engage as many learners as possible. So the PowerPoint allows them to actually look at something and have something visual uh, in addition to your verbal voice. So that's what I mean by the five of five rule. Um, I don't think I have, here's some bullets, but they were more for the, uh, re references. Okay, so, and then this is the explanation of the proposals. So, uh, what else was I going to talk to you guys about? I was going to go back over to this, um, 5 of 5 rule, no more than, you cannot read your essay. <laughs> I, I had that st uh, student do that one time, and I'm like, oh my god, no, this is not what this is. Absolutely not. And you will be graded on, so there's 50 points. You'll be graded on your narration qualities. So are you enunciating? Do you have some personality, some inflection? Like, wow, oh my gosh, and did you know? And my goodness, this is sad. So that's the type of inflection. Some varying uh, audio uh, of your voice, the speed of your speech, um, tone, uh, and pitch, and then also the uh, excitement or the, uh, the, the emotion in your voice. You're confident. You know what you're talking about. You're knowledgeable, and that knowledge comes through. And your exuberance. Are you passionate? And remember, you guys, that's what we did five weeks ago was choose things that you were passionate about. That was the, that was the whole purpose for this. It wasn't just to complain about problems. It was to help solve some problems. And that's what the proposal part of this whole thing was all about. Your aesthetic qualities. Aesthetic means making it look good. So is your PowerPoint clean? And, and, and we don't want a bunch of flashy stuff. We don't want mixed fonts. We, we just want it clean. Uh, one picture and five bullets and that's clean. Really, we don't want a whole bunch of inconsistent fonts, uh, inconsistent formats. I'm telling you, even if you do one picture per slide and, key, and just talk, but not read your essay, you'd be awesome. And that picture would relate to the, the, the topic that you wanted to talk about, like the leg of the topic that you wanted to talk about. And professional and polished. Professional means no typos, and polished means you've gone through it with a fine-tooth comb. 
And then again, at least 10 slides and make sure you have a work cited and overall delivery and effect. How did, how was the overall delivery and effect? Did, did you make it look or did you make it sound good? Was it appearing, to, appealing? Did people actually want to listen? Um, did people believe what you were saying, that you are knowledgeable, that you were competent? Uh, and then the software would be screencast, and I that this is the one I have used. I don't know if you guys have access to Kaltura, but if you do, then do that one. I teach at different colleges, so my Kalturas um, were working well together. So I had to, they told me to go ahead and use Screencast-O-Matic, so I did, and it actually works out fine. You just sign up, and then when you get on there, this is the screen that it looks like if you want to videotape. It's right here. Uh, and then this um, on the side are all the videos that a person would have had. Uh, you can separate it into folders if you want. I don't have to go into all of that. But uh, the main thing is here's where you click to launch the video and everything in. You'll see it on your screen. You don't see it on mine. But um, you'll see a red uh, square that encompasses the area of the screen that would be recorded. So anyways. Anyways, this is due May 10th. Uh, you would do five, no more than five bullets, five words per bullet. You would use Screencast-O-Matic, and the requirements are all right here. And then you would post it to the discussion board. I hope this was helpful, you guys, and I hope you have a great day.